Good day students, we're here again to do more Pascal coding. So we're going to focus on double selection this time. As you can see from our paper, your handout, we're going to write a Pascal program to print the small number of the contents of variables A and B. On your handout, you had to write the pseudocode. Now we're writing the Pascal. So I have taken the liberty of doing the, the head of the program where we have our program title, accessing the Pascal library to run certain functions in our code, and now to declare our variables. So in this case, we have variable A, uh, let's put this in all caps, variable A, comma, variable B, and this time I'm going to set it as integer. All right. So those are the only two variables being declared. All right. Now, remembering how in the last video where I said that you need to problem partition your problem so we can input two variables processing, there's nothing being assigned the output we need to print the smaller of the variables and our control will be a selection but in this case it's going to be a double selection so we'll be using if then else all right so let's begin so we need to prompt the user to enter two values and then allow the user to enter those two values, which is going to be A and B. All right. And remember, in the last video, we started off with the if and our criteria. And it says we need to find out which one is the smaller number. But in the last video, it was already stated that some one would be the smaller number. So we have to figure out which one is the smaller number. So I'm going to set this one as A is going to be less than B then. And then I'm going to say begin. And now I'm going to write line bracket and a single quote smaller number is close I'm going to say a here I'm going to put the end and I'm going to say else begin and I can just copy this code up here oh I can copy here, so not bad. Else begin, and I'm going to change this variable to B. All right. However, this only takes care of whether A is the smaller, smaller variable or B is going to be the smaller variable. We also have to take in consideration that these two variables a and b could be also equal so i'm going to write another if then statement so rather than type it out i'm going to copy this code and make sure this is in line so I have A, if A is greater than B, I want to change this greater sign to equal. And then here I'm going to say, line of code variable A, comma, quote is equal to, close quote, comma, variable B. And I will terminate right here. And 
just like in the previous video, I'm going to write a statement. Let's copy this code up here. Alright, I can see this. Okay, you can see this now. And remove this right here. And write the same statement I had last time. Press enter to terminate the program. So I'm testing out whether A is going to be less than B. If it's not so, then B will be selected. And then I'm also going to test if both variables are the same. All right, so I'm going to execute by compiling the program first. I want to save this now as smaller. And look, there is no errors. I'm going to continue now. Hmm. Wait for Avast to complete the scan first. And here we are. All right, so following suit. I have my output statement, enter two values. Now I'm going to enter those two values. So and since it's an integer, that's a positive or a negative whole number, I'm going to use 9 as my first value. And I'm going to use 10 as my second value to be stored in B. So A will have 9, be assigned to 9, and 10 will be assigned to B. When I hit Enter, I should get nine. The smaller number is nine. And there we are. The code actually works. Okay, that shouldn't happen. Okay, so let's compile the code again. Execute. All right. Uh, this time, I'm going to test if B is a small number. So I'm going to put 10 in A, 9 in B, and uh, it says smaller number is 9. Okay, program works there. I'm going to execute it again. This time, I'm going to put same number, 9 here. 9 here and then I should be able to get this code this line of code here displayed so I hit enter here 9 is smaller number so basically is you seeing that 9 is a smaller number but it's also saying that 9 is equal to 9 right there okay so the program actually works. It did find a smaller number, but it also indicated that both of them are equal. All right. So we see you in the next lesson.